Welcome to the first episode of This Is How I Glyph, a new series where we review scripts that have been written to automate specific tasks in PointWise or the entire meshing process. In this video, we're going to be looking at a script that refines meshes and it's written to make it easier to generate a family of grids given an initial course mesh. Now you can grab this script from our GitHub page, github.com slash pointwise slash grid refine, and I'll link this script in the description down below for you to go ahead and download it. And to grab everything, you can just click the download zip button and it'll just pull everything down. So to give you an idea of what this script does and how it works, I've, I've pulled up the script in an editor here. And basically all you need to know is there are three user defined parameters. The first is the refinement factor. And this is the number that's basically going to drive this entire script, followed by the name of the pointwise project file that contains the grid that you're looking to refine. In this case, we're, we have a simple structured and unstructured block that we're going to refine for this example. And then whether or not you want to initialize the volume mesh. And this is in regards to unstructured blocks. So um, if you've got an unstructured block and you go ahead and refine the connectors and domains that define that block, you're going to have to reinitialize it. And this is basically telling it whether or not you want to do that. In some cases, you may just be looking for a refined surface mesh. So in this case, we'll, we'll, we'll set it to yes. But the way this script works, is it'll load up the grid and it'll start to use this refinement factor and it'll it'll begin by refining connectors so it'll refine their dimension so in this case it's got a dimension of 11 so if we double that refinement we would get a dimension of 22. it'll also refine any explicitly created spacing constraints so if you have explicitly specified a spacing constraint at the end of a connector it'll go ahead and refine that value as well something else that it'll refine are domain attributes so for example if i select this unstructured domain and go to grid solve and go to attributes it'll go ahead and refine you know the min and max triangle edge lengths that you may have specified and it also does that for the block as well. Um, something else that it will do is if you have a diagonalized structure domain for like the trailing edge of a wing, you've gone ahead and created a structure domain and then you've diagonalized it, it'll go ahead and refine and re-diagonalize those for you. And if it's a part of a block, it'll re-add it to the block and reapply all of those block attributes uh, automatically. And then it will also go ahead and modify T-Rex attributes, mainly the initial wall spacing. So the other cool thing about the script is you can run it either interactively, so I can go and just run the script from the script menu. I could run it from uh, my browser, which I'll do in just a moment, or you can run it in batch mode. And so the nice thing about that is you could you know, offload this onto a larger system, specify a refinement factor and run it, and you could, you could run several refinement or cases to basically build up your family of grids and uh, and have it do that automatically for you. Something else you can do is you can actually set the refinement factor to one. So if you have like a really large grid that you want to initialize the block for, you can go ahead and just pass that grid and the script off to a remote system. You could run this with a refinement factor of one and volume mesh set to yes, and it'll go ahead and just initialize that block for you. And maybe you're doing this on a system that has uh, more memory so you can generate a much larger grid. If you have the refinement factor set to less than one, that'll abort the script. So how does it work? Why don't we just go ahead and run it? Again, this is our baseline grid. I'm just going to go ahead and double click on the script to run it. And now you'll notice that I have a refined grid and you can see that it is finer than the initial baseline case. But the other thing is it prints some information to the message window. So it tells you what the refinement factor is set to, what connector it's currently refining. It'll even tell you if it can't refine a connector. Do the same thing for domains. It'll tell you what domain right now it's refining, whether or not that it could refine a domain. And then it'll give you some statistics about the volume meshes. So we've got a structured block consisting of 8,000 cells, an unstructured block. And then the other thing it'll do is it'll actually write the refined surface mesh and volume mesh to that same directory so you have those uh, for the future. Okay, so 
That's how this script works. Again, you can grab it off of GitHub. I'll leave a link in the description. If you liked this video, be sure to click the thumbs up button down below and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like this. And if you have any questions or comments, drop us a line down below or connect with us on Twitter, which is linked in the description.